Hello, everybody, and welcome to a Court of Books and Booze, Milk and Cookies edition. I am Skylar, and with me today are Jessica and Amanda. As always. As always. <laughs> You're stuck with us. <laughs> that I am, and I'm not complaining. And our fourth episode guest is Aspen, again, because we're horrible at planning things. <laughs> That could be true. Is this roasting time? No. Already? <laughs> Amanda probably deserves it for one reason or another, huh? Probably. <laughs> I was early today. I just want to say, I am never early. I was early today. I noticed. Mm, I'm always late. Unless it's like work or something. Because I'm it's this real big fear of getting fired or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> So we were just talking about it. Aspen only has 13 days of school left. Woohoo. Approximately, yeah. Soon yeah. enough you will. <laughs> and then what grade are you going to be? Third. Mm. Already, jeez. <sighs> I'm 30. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eight. I'm not 30. How old are you then? I'm not either. How old are you, Amanda? Still in my 20s, and I will hold on to that for as long as I can. Well, it's not going to be that long. I'll tell you that. That's longer than your parents. (laughs) (laughs) Which is amazing how time flies. Mm. That's what I was just trying to get at. Yeah. (laughs) I'm ready to be out on the kayaks and just Obviously. Enjoying the weather. You were ready for that months ago. I was. I was thinking about it in February. This week, we are reading Love the Earth by Julian Lennon. Aspen, you know who Julian Lennon is? No. Amanda, you know who Julian Lennon is? Mm -mm. Jess, who is Julian Lennon? Of course I know who (laughs) Julian Lennon is. John Lennon? John Lennon and Cynthia Lennon's son. Nuh-uh. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Amanda obviously didn't read the whole book because at the very end... There's a nice little dedication and everything. He talks about what the uh, White Feather Society is. I read that. I didn't. See, I didn't, must have missed that part. <laughs> he says his dad, John, in there, I thought. I thought he just said his dad. He might have. I might be wrong. I could be wrong. I have no idea who they are. <laughs> 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 just con- just <laughs> confirming you're eight years old. I'll, I'll show you some music sometime. They write music? Yeah, he just talks about his dad. I did not read that part then, but I read the book. Hmm. That's really cool. It is really cool, isn't it? Yeah. So it was published in 2019. I think we were just walking through Barnes and Noble one day and it was, I don't know, we were all picking out a book or something and I thought that one looked nice. It's, got, it's really pretty on the cover and it was a notable name and so I think we grabbed it for Aspen. Yeah, I think if I remember right, you had been looking at some of his other works and you're like, ooh, this, because I think it we bought it right after it came out. I think you're right. Mm-hmm. So, Aspen, tell us about the book. <sighs> so, it it kind of teaches you a lesson to help our Earth, our planet. That's pretty much the whole thing the story is <laughs> about, just teaching you how to help our planet. One might say how to love the Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm funny, Amanda. No, you're not. I'm hilarious. <sighs> what do we talk about in the book? So, so it's a mildly interactive mm-hmm. children's book. I mean, we've we've got a handful of like interactive children's books where they're doing activities or actions or sounds or something along with the book. We we like those here. Like, and like 
don't push the button. Yeah. And, like, Sora has a Scooby-Doo book that has, like, noises on the bottom. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this one is mildly interactive. It's it's a, a low amount of interactive, but it still is it helps. I think that helps a little bit keeping kids engaged. It's really, it's like really. I forgot. It's it's a, it teaches you something. While also making you have, how do I say this? So does, like, it teach you something, but it also lets you, like, participate and have fun? Yeah, thank you. Yes. So we get to learn about monarch butterflies and their migrations and what they eat. And then it talks about... So they're, like, they're in a plane, you know... Uh, uh, they're in a plane flying to different areas of the world yeah Mm -hmm. because i think at the beginning it talks about the earth having these different regions Mm -hmm. you know the plains and deserts and forests and oceans and all of that and so now it's taking you on a journey to those different locations and talking about ways to help and connect with the ecosystem and the people, right? Mm-hmm. And um, it teach you it teaches you a lot of things in the book. Yeah, like what? Like, like Daddy said, um, it it teaches you about monarch butterflies. It teaches you. About places and, like, the whale. Mm -hmm. And it teaches you a lot of things. So, that's what I like about the book. Hmm. Yeah, it talks about cleaning up our oceans Mm because plastic is toxic to... Animals. Sea animals. And there's a lot of litter in the ocean. That's why we should pick up... Whenever we're... This is a tip for all you viewers... Roast them, Aspen. Roast them. <laughs> Stop littering. It's bad. You, Whenever you go to the ocean and you see some litter, pick it up. Good tip. Helpful tips from kids. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. It is. It's so, just a, a solid book, of, you know, promoting that Lenin brand of love and... Love and peace and humanity and right. all of that. So it has kids, like, shake the book and push, like, buttons okay. that are little decals in there um, and, and point has, to things. It and has lots and lots of details, too. Even, it has lots of details because... Like with the words or the pictures? Both. Oh. All right. Because they want to make it as much fun as they could do it and teach you as much much stuff as they can. Hmm. That's technically what books are for. (laughs) Technically it can be, yeah. What do you think of the illustrations in this book, Aspen? The illustrations? You Mm -hmm. mean by the pictures? Mm Mm-hmm. They're really, really... Really realistic and really good pictures. What do you think, Amanda? Honestly, it's nice to see a book that is educational as well as, you know, teaching those little... Those little tidbits about, like you were saying, (laughs) that you were saying about, you know, different life lessons. Because I feel like the things that are talked about in this book are also things that adults forget a lot. So simply like just a simple act of kindness of, you know, 
treating someone with any type of humanity just because they look different or think differently than you or, you know, being kind to animals, cleaning up the oceans, things like that. It's stuff that we just get so, so much in a habit as an adult that it's just kind of passes by us. And we don't think about actively taking those steps to help keep the earth, you know, better than what we found it. And when, when you said be nice when they don't look like you, it's like Martin Luther King Jr. that helped black and white. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is very true. Very true. So, but yeah. I like that it touches on all aspects. So it's all like about cleaning the earth, but then it's also about treating animals um, with respect and being kind to animals, it, it but is. then also to people. And it hops all these to all aspects of life. And the illustrations are fantastic. They're That's gorgeous. Not- it's nice that, like you mentioned, just reminding adults also, because with it being in a kid's book, you know, it, you could be reading that any time to your kid. Um, so it's something that we inherently know as an adult, but don't necessarily think about daily. Right. So it's a nice little reminder. And I think the pictures are gorgeous. You- I think they're super pretty. They've got a bunch of beautiful colors and Mm -hmm. and a lot of diversity you should read this like three times a day to remind Mm -hmm. you what'd you think sky yeah i I mean i i love this book i've loved it since we picked it up i think the the illustrations you know for as simple as they are they're they're stunning uh just the butterfly page itself Mm -hmm. is is beautiful uh, the use of color is fantastic. They use it's, a lot. It's like um, it's like a painting. It's like watercolor for the background. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did like that little letter at the end explaining the foundation that was actually created and what base these stories off of. That was really nice to kind of learn a little bit more about the author. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely a good good little piece to read through. It, it the book itself just on the cover when you first pick this up like when you first find this book and then you look at it some people will be like mm. and then when you after look like look all at all the pe- pe- pages you'll you'll be really surprised like just some people at the cover, they're like, mm, not much detail. But some people, when you look inside, you see a lot. So you should pick this book up. Good Just review. Letting, you know. Good review. Mm-hmm. So what would you rate it, Aspen? Out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you nope. always want to do out of 10? It's out of 5. Same as every week, out of 5. Five out of five. Actually, four and a half. All right. Solid. Solid. Amanda? Mm, I'm also going to say four and a half. Skylar? Um, you know, I don't care much for interactive books in general. I think I've just read them so much to my Jeez. children that <laughs> um, I've lost the flavor for them. Even though this is light, it's still just kind of pushes that i'm gonna give it a four wow i'm gonna go for 4.5 i think yeah well guys that was uh love the earth by julian lennon uh just go check it out it's it's short simple great book great lessons um thank you everybody for listening to a Court of Books and Booze, Milk and Cookie Edition. If you liked what you heard, make sure to go check out the other Golden Mojo Entertainment network of podcasts. That includes The Call Guys, Golden Image Podcast, Two Sop. Two Sop, thank you. The United States of Paranormal, I just blanked. Um, Indiana Chiefs fans. Indiana Chiefs fans. They're on hiatus until next season. <laughs> Murder Nerds. Murder, Murder Nerds. nerds. <laughs> and coming soon the golden 80s so thanks again everybody
We appreciate you. Like, subscribe, hit that bell. <laughs> you know the drill. Rate, review. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Read with you later. Bye.